Here's another tour of Dolphin Island. You're gonna see an example of what you would expect to pay for a Verbo. And I'm gonna show you some of the restaurants. I see the Captain Snappers is open. We'll see a lot of cool wildlife. I'm gonna show you the beaches. I'm a realtor from Mobile. If you have any questions about what you would expect to find on Dolphin Island, give me a call. I don't mind giving you free information. I've gotten a few calls about people looking to book a Verbo. I wanna show the Verbo website. Right now, only 3% of the total Airbnbs are available. Verbo listing at Dolphin Island Beach Club. It's on Beneville Boulevard. The restaurants are right across the street from it, so it's a very prime location. It's right off the beach. It's a hundred and forty dollars per night you would get two bedrooms it sleeps six people you get two bathrooms you get a pool you get a washer and dryer a kitchen it's a thousand square feet it also has a balcony it gives you one free parking spot you have to be 25 or older to book free wi-fi dolphin island beach club it's 201a big thing down south is food and gas stations this is the chevron on dolphin island they're pretty much the main road you're not going to miss this 44 ounce coke a hamburger steak brownie type muffin 10 bucks they gave me a ton of napkins silverware baby rice i ate all that brownie was really good captain snappers is finally open i think they would close just for the winter the upstairs will be open in march when the spring breakers come and that'll be a bar with live music and daiquiris they'll have a different menu a fun time at captain snappers i had a messy jesse so it was chicken with a buffalo wing sauce artisan bun that was only 13 dollars fries that were seasoned an order of hush puppies for four dollars Lighter flour, it wasn't corn flour, but it had pieces of corn in it. Done really well. Piece of key lime pie, that was really good. Dr. Pepper was about $3. Two sections to Captain Snappers that are both restaurant. The bar is in the second section, and it's a big bar. There are plenty of uh, big TVs for watching sports. Very nice panoramic windows. I can see the water, and you can see the palm trees blowing. I had a fun time talking to people in the restaurant. I met a group from Illinois. I met a group from Minnesota, and then I met a local and she was telling me about the history of the island and how she hadn't even come to Dolphin Island in the 90s because it was just residential and she was saying that it was pretty much built by the Mobile Chamber of Commerce by by Roberts Brothers she was talking about how it was laid out and planned and how they actually sold too much of the island so they had to go out and make more of it with sand but here's the beach shack it's right next to the Chevron gas station check out these four-seater and six-seater golf carts that you can rent for $1.75 a day here at the Beach Shack. These shirts, uh, sunscreen in them. These dolphins, hand-blown glass from Turkey. These bags, handmade in Bali. The owner travels all over the world, finds cool stuff. This is from Dubai, India. It's silk and it's hand-stitched. Here's their hours, here's their number. Another company here, they've got jet skis, stand-up paddle boards, bicycles, and kayaks. Their number, it's 20% off all retail if you do a rental that day. Drone flight from the Chevron gas station to show you how centrally located the gas station is how big the island actually is it's not very big i've had some people ask me to be on a verbo on the beach and then i say well anywhere on the island is about three blocks away from the beach at worst but one of the cool things about the east side of the island is there's so many different things to do the historic port games there's the aquarium you want to check out the aquarium i think it's 15 dollars to get in Plenty of parking over here if you want to get onto the beach on the east side of Dolphin Island. The west side of Dolphin Island is a little bit harder on parking. You would have to have an Airbnb or a designated parking spot. And that's one of the benefits of having one of those go-karts. Here's one of the beers. It's got a boat launch down here. The road that goes along Fort Gaines, it's going to be another parking lot. You can find this parking lot, Parkmobile app. Parking lot right here seen this online where some people say that they wouldn't swim in the water. Mobile County EPA, safe to swim here. See that? He just surfaced. There he is. Dolphin, right? There is.
you ever get the thought in your mind to buy a house here, houses go for as little as 300000 If you have any questions about Dolphin Island, whether it's real estate, food, vacation, tourism, give me a call. I'm full of free information.